Hey, Lizzie. Hey, what are you doing? I was just going to head to the library. Do you want to come? No, I'm, I'm good. Thank you, though. Oh, well, would you want to come over? Would you want to come over later? Um. To the apartment. For dinner. Just a friendly dinner. We could study. It could be a study date. Um. Not, not, not a date. Not a date. Just a friendly dinner between two people. Nothing's going to go any further than that. I should, I should just stop talking. <laughs> I'm going to have to pass. I'm really busy today, but thank you. Yeah, of course. You're, you're busy every day. Yeah? As friends. Yeah, yeah, right. Just friends. Friends that can cheer each other up. Yeah, yeah, just friends doing friendly things. Sounds good. It's gonna be a picture perfect day. There's not one thing that's standing in our way. I'm watching all the storm clouds part and the evening stars align. The world becomes a work of art when I'm standing in your shine. To say it's like a dream would be remiss. For now I know that dreams are made of this. Yes, as long as you're beside me, then there's cause for me to say that it's gonna be a picture-perfect day. Gonna be oh a picture oh perfect oh day. There's not one thing that's standing in our way. 
I'm watching all the storm clouds part and the evening stars align. The world becomes a work of art when I'm standing in your shine. To say it's like a dream would be remiss. But now I know that dreams are made of this. Oh my god! This poor thing just comes in here! <laughs> my one chance to be with you. What are you talking about? Listen, I, I just really like you. And I mess up this entire day. Are you kidding me? I haven't laughed this much on a date in a long time. A date? Yes, a date. The best worst date ever. Hey, come on. Help! Hey. Someone help! Okay, okay. Hey! Hey, did you see what happened? Hello? Andy, where the hell are you, man? Everyone's here. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to show up tonight. Come on, don't be a pussy. You'll feel better when you get here. Ashley got you a case of your favorite. Man, I'm not sure. Pussy, pussy, pussy. I'll, I'll write. Pussy. All right. I'll be there soon.
Gosling, you don't even understand him. That's Ryan fucking Gosling. Okay? That's Ryan Gosling. I know what he's been through. Yo, know, shake your fucking head, Rachel. Shake your head. James, this place looks only a little messier than what I remember. Yeah, I've been... I don't mean to clean. Yeah, you probably should. <laughs> this kitchen is horrendous. Kate. Please tell me what the hell you're doing here. Alan, don't say that. I've been thinking a lot lately, um, and I've been talking to someone recently. Who? Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Alan, don't say that. That's blasphemous. Do not use the Lord's name in vain. I've been praying a lot lately, and I've been talking to Jesus every night. You want to know what he says? What? He says we should think about getting back together. Hmm. Does he also say that you should fuck my best friend? Alan, that was an accident. Oh, so his dick just accidentally slipped inside of you. I don't right, know right, why right. you can't get over it. it Okay, we all make mistakes. I can't get over it because... Shh. Listen, baby, I just think that we should explore the idea of being together again. I mean, haven't you missed me? Haven't you missed my kisses? This place really is a mess. Okay, get out. What? Get out of my apartment. What are you talking about? You're doing it again. You know what? You're dickless and pathetic. We're not getting back together. What? You know what I just realized? You were an absolute bitch. Oh, sorry. Is that too blasphemous for you? You know what else is blasphemous? Fucking my best friend. You know, I think there's something in the Bible that says, Thou shalt not be a whore, or some shit like that. I am not a whore! You are a whore! Whore, 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 whore. Bite me! Fuck you! Get out! Oh, and by the way, you and your Jesus Christ, you can go have fun somewhere else. Real mature. Oh, also, don't accidentally slip on a few cocks on your way out. Jesus loves me! So, Sarah, on a scale from 1 to 10, how do you feel today? I think about a 6. Well, it's above half. How come 6? I took my meds today. Mm -hmm. Had my coffee. Are you staying on top of your homework and grades? Yes. What's going on socially? Not much. Well, 
Why are we not at a ten today? Things seem uneventful. Would uneventful be at a ten or a one? Depends. You know, I can only assess you if you tell me what's going on. How's therapy going? Fine. Is it helping? Yeah. I won the Nobel Peace Prize. That's cool. Sarah. Sorry. What did you say? When was the last time you took your meds? This morning. Why? Because it's the end of the month and this looks pretty full. Maybe I skipped a few days. It's not like birth control. I can't just take two when I've missed one. I love this photo. Yeah. I remember you made me laugh so hard this day that my sides started cramping and I had to <laughs> hobble to the car like an old lady. Yeah. <laughs> Were you in your meds back then? No, I didn't have to be back then. It's been a while since I've hobbled like an old lady. Yeah. On a scale from 1 to 10, how are you feeling today? A 7. Okay, guys, we really need to decide on this idea. I think we should do my romantic idea. It makes sense financially and it'd be easy to film. Oh, that's so boring. As I was telling you, a fight scene at the short film would be amazing. I think we should do something involving uh, kittens. <laughs> As I was saying, we could write the male characters like, you know, like a sort of shy... I'm sorry, did you just skip over my idea? Because I know my idea was fan-fucking-tastic. I did skip over it, because how are we going to film a fight scene? <laughs> With cameras? All we have to do is choreograph an easy fight and execute through easy camera angles. See, that's the thing. With my idea, we don't have to choreograph. All you have to do is execute. Do we need axes for that? Well, with my new idea, we wouldn't need to execute anybody. We just need, like, 50 dodo birds, 20 trolls, and an empty restaurant. I can get the dodo birds, but I need you guys to get the trolls. Uh-huh. But the professor said go above and beyond. And a fight scene would be so above and beyond our expectations. No, it'd be hard and time consuming. Plus, we'd have to clear actors and stunts. That's the thing. If we plan right, there won't be any stunts. But like I said, if we do the romance video, all we can do is write the script. <coughs> Wait, I've got it. We can do one where the high school student goes completely for Al. 
You dumbass. You mean Pharaoh. No, no, I mean like Pharrell. We could get a big hat and everything. It, you know, like da 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 Anyway, this reminds me of you is cute. We can play with that meat cute. What's a cute meat? Oh, you mean like baby back ribs? No. It's where the romance interests meet and they instantly fall in love. Ugh. Pouring cliche done a million times. I'm pretty sure those were written in cave paintings. This is why we have to be bold. No, just because something is bold doesn't mean it's good. And some cliches are good when done well. That would imply that you know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing with this fight scene. I'm trained in Sambo, Judo, Jiu-Jitsu, both Brazilian and Japanese, Muay Thai, Taekwondo, Hapkido, Akido, and the Kama Sutra. But can you teach it to people who aren't trained in it? We're, we're not casting martial artists. I'm not saying cast martial artists. All we need are actors who are in shape. Uh, circles of shape. Look, your idea just sucks. Bold words from someone who hasn't had an original idea since she got in here. This is a guy who's taken his class like what, three times? Oh, unlike the three times you and your boyfriend got back together, this was my choice. Hey, when I was five, I had an idea for Wizard of Oz, but with progressive black characters. That's, That's the, the fucking Wiz! Wiz! Oh my god, my idea was stolen? I swear, why are you even in our group? At least he's trying to think outside the box, unlike you. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to do something well within our own limitations. Unlike you, who has those brain cells, that idiot over there. A fight scene is well within our limitations. Here, let me show you. Is that a threat? Are you gonna hit a woman? No, but I'll impolitely introduce the back of my hand to your face. I can't work with you. Me either. Fuck you. Fuck you! What if we made a short film about people coming up with an idea for a short film? Okay, wait, hold on. That's actually not too bad. Not to agree with Sam here, but say that again. Okay. So these four guys, right? And they're trying to come up with an idea for a short film and possibly think of new ones. That's when I said, you know I'm going to be there. Is it even an office party without me? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, what do you guys got going tomorrow? Oh, that does sound like a good time. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit that one out. All right, well, look, Rick, I'll, uh, I'll see you around work. Okay, I'm going to let you go for the night. So, I uh, got your favorite dinner. Figured it's a special enough occasion, you know, my son going off to college and making friends. I just don't know how quickly I'm going to make friends there, Dad. Well, you signed up for any of the move in events when you get there? Not really. I think I'm going to spend the day unpacking and unwinding. You know, Ned, I really think it's time you put yourself out there a little bit. Have some fun. Meet a girl. Get the college experience, like your mother and I did. I will, Dad. <coughs> Just not tomorrow. I'll be tired. Okay, look. Well, your mother and I, when we were in college, we did all sorts of things. We signed up for clubs. Maybe you can do something like that. At least then you'd have someone to talk to, Ned. Can we please just not talk about this tonight? I just want one last night of family dinner before I leave. I don't want to fight about anything. Family dinner? I get it. Your mom's late from work again and now you're pissed at me. Whatever, Ned. 
I just want you to try to have a little fun. Is that such a bad thing to say? I could have fun by myself. I've done it for 18 years. What's for more? Hey, watch the attitude. It's not attitude. It's just the truth. You know, your mother and I were trying here, okay? So cut me some slack on this shit. We worry about you. Can we please just not talk about this tonight? I just want one last family dinner before I leave. Any right. other night you can berate me about having no friends. But please, it's not tonight. We are having a family dinner, just like you want it. I got your favorite meal and you're barely even touching it. You're acting spoiled because you're leaving tomorrow, but guess what, we don't do that shit around here and you know that. Dad. No, Ned, enough is enough, okay? We have had to deal with you your entire life. Do you have any idea how hard it is to be a parent of a socially awkward child? Our friends thinking that we messed up somewhere along the line as parents? You don't have any idea how hard it is on us. It's and What about me? What? What about me? So what if you're peaked in high school, stuck up friends have one bad opinion about you? Who cares what your stupid fucking friends think? They just don't matter like you think they do, Dad. I have never felt more disrespected by you in my life. You disrespect me every day, Dad. And Mom never even bothers to defend me. You guys make it seem like it was my fault that I couldn't make any friends. I've tried to make friends. It's exhausting. And at some point, I just gave up. Well, I didn't know my son was a quitter. You've never had to deal with what I've had to deal with. Brendan Hughes. He was the big shot. He still is. I was never like that. And I'm never going to be. Just different. Fucking excuses. Give me something good. Is anyone here with me? I want to hurt someone. Can you help me? How do I get you out? really look like that? No. No. It's just for the vibe. Oh my 
gosh, stop. You're too kind. You don't look evil. I can be evil. See? I tried to come. That was me. That could have been a coincidence. If you're a real ghost, how did you die? So, me and my ex frat bro, Jerry, were standing on the Delta Iota Kappa roof. We were dared to jump off into the pool. He kept whining about how, we're not gonna make it or it's too high. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Did you make it? No. I hit the pavement. This. This looks like Jerry. I wish I could haunt Jerry. I fucking hate Jerry. Fuck you, Jay! Ah! Ooh! Ooh! Ah! 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 So what did you need me to do? I want to get revenge on my ex. Can you help me? Let me see a picture of him. Jerry. I said his name was Brian. Fuck you, Jerry! What the hell? Ooh, 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 ooh. That's right. That's right. I should have won the beer pong tournament. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You think you're getting yeah. up? Yeah. Oh, oh. You think you're getting up? Whoa! <laughs> I was trying to get the Kappa Sigma babes, but you didn't let me. Who's laughing now, bitch? What the hell is this coffee? Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Oh, thank oh, God. You your oh! Oh! I'm out of here. you get you dickhead that's what you get that's what you get i told you i was gonna win the beer pong tournament yeah 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 fuck, fuck you, you jerry, jerry. <laughs> 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 <laughs>